It's a devastating form of discrimination designed to keep minorities corralled, and the Justice Department charges Hudson City Bank Corp did it routinely in New York, Connecticut, and New Jersey, where it claims the bank redlined Hispanics and African Americans by refusing to offer them affordable mortgages, even avoided building bank branches in minority neighborhoods. Yeah, redlining, I think that's what it is. It's called your zip code, really. Your zip code? Yeah. You live in the wrong zip code? That's it. What do you think about that? First of all, it's illegal. That's sad. Well, maybe they'll change their mind. Hopefully, everybody needs a home. This is a bank that's been thumbing its nose at the low and moderate income minority community for years. Activist Phyllis Saloquet's got thick files of New Jersey citizen actions disputes with Hudson City Bank that go back to 1997 and says she forwarded multiple complaints to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau over Hudson City's unwillingness to offer loans and mortgages for minorities. They just said, our doors are open. If they want to come in and get loans, we're here. But the facts show, and the facts have been showing for many, many years, that they have no ability to make these loans. Regulators noted that between 2009 and 2013, Hudson City avoided locating branches in areas with large African American and Hispanic populations and excluded these groups from marketing strategies. If the U.S. District Court approves the $33 million settlement, Hudson City will pay $25 million in direct loan subsidies to qualified borrowers borrowers in affected communities, plus another two and a quarter million toward community programs and outreach, plus a five and a half million dollar penalty. The inability to build wealth within those communities that were denied access is probably greater than 33 million, but it's a significant uh, amount of money that is going to be reintroduced into, into our communities. Hudson City neither admitted nor denied wrongdoing, noted it disagrees with the statistical analysis of loans relied upon by the DOJ and CFPB as as well as the agency's conclusions from their investigations. And it says it's settled to avoid extended litigation that threatens a pending merger. Hudson City's possibly looking at some even bigger changes. It could be bought out by M&T Bank of Buffalo if federal regulators approve the deal. M&T already writes mortgages in New Jersey, and it would be bound by the agreement with the Department of Justice. In Newark, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.